My brother missed his wedding and blamed me. Now my family hates me. I still can't believe this happened or that I'm taking all the blame for it. My brother was supposed to get married a week ago but he never arrived at the wedding venue on time. I know why and because I was technically with him for a night, my family thinks it was my responsibility to take care of him. Well, the night before his wedding, my brother called all of his friends and talked about having one last day of freedom before he married the old ball and chain. He apparently wanted one last night as a single man. Mind you, we already had a bachelor party so I don't know what gave him the idea to do another one. His friends were all up for it though so we all drove to a STRP club of his choice. Something about having to live with the same woman for the rest of his life gave him the ick. I reminded him the entire time that he shouldn't drink too much because the very next day was his wedding. He told me to lay off and he knew what he was doing. At some point I did stop telling him and just watched him go to town with all the alcohol he was drinking. I'm not much of a drinker, in fact I try to stay away from it as much as possible, so I only drank one beer and called it a night. Everyone else was insanely wasted though. I had to call Ubers for the friends and drove the groomsman and my brother to his house. I went back to my own house where I slept soundly. The next day, I went about my day before getting ready for my brother's wedding. I'm actually not one of his groomsmen, I was just a guest, which is why I don't think it's fair that all the responsibility latched onto me out of nowhere. If anything, our older brother should have been blamed since he's the best man and was tasked with making sure the groom attended the wedding. So I drove up to the wedding and my dad instantly started asking me about my brother's whereabouts. I told him I haven't seen him since last night when I dropped him. Off at his house after drinking for hours. That's when they told me no one from the groom's party was here and they've been trying to contact them for hours. An hour goes by and my parents try to delay the wedding as much as possible. At this point the bride finds out that her husband is nowhere to be found and immediately thinks the worst, he got cold feet and was standing her up at her wedding. I wouldn't put it past my brother with the way he was acting yesterday. He seemed like he did not want to get married and I actually felt bad for her. The wedding was delayed as much as possible and my father went to get my brother from his house, which was two hours away. The sun was setting by the time we got word that my father had picked him up and was on his way. My brother talked to the bride who had been crying all day. Her makeup was smeared and her hair got all messy. I tried to comfort her by saying that he definitely was not thinking of leaving her and he just overslept because he had a crazy night out, but she didn't believe anything I said. Because we were there all day, the guests ate the food, the priest had grown tired of waiting, and the bride even changed out of her wedding dress. It was not an enjoyable wedding. My brother came and instead of hugging his crying bride, he sucker punched me. I yelled at him asking what the hell was wrong with him and he started blaming me for making him miss his wedding. I saw my father looking disappointed at me as well. We started arguing back and forth and it wasn't until the bride got in between us that the screaming match stopped. I had told everybody who asked what happened, my brother went out, partied too hard, I dropped him off at his house with all his groomsmen, went home, and then came to the wedding. Everybody had believed me but when my dad told this to my brother as he was berating him during the two-hour car ride, my brother spit out a different story to save his own SS. Apparently, it was my idea to go. Party and he didn't want to go but I dragged him. He said I was the one that had taken him to a STRP club and said he needed to let loose before he married the old ball and chain. Then, I got him wasted on purpose because I wanted him to miss his wedding since I was jealous of his relationship. He told everyone that I was the one who wanted to marry the bride so by making him miss his own wedding, I could swoop in and pull the if you ever need someone to talk to Carr to try to win her over. Everyone immediately believed his sob story so they all turned their backs on me and villainized me. I didn't even have the friends to back me up because they were also intoxicated. It didn't hurt that my brother had used factual details in his story and just swapped it to make me seem like the bad guy. One of them even said they remembered someone saying old ball and chain which confirmed my brother's story. They asked me why I didn't bring that up and I said it was because I didn't want the bride to feel even worse than she already did by bringing up that her fiancé called her that. Nobody believed me and said I was a liar since I left out all sorts of details in my side of the story. My brother kicked me out of his wedding and even a week later, I'm still getting messages from my parents telling me I embarrassed them. My brother did get married but because he's on his honeymoon, I haven't contacted him but trust me, when he gets back, I'll be the one sucker punching him.